Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve the blue screen of death issues on Windows 11 or Windows 10. So let's say you are receiving blue screen. Maybe sometimes your your your, your Windows just crashed with a blue screen, uh, showing you process died BSOD error in Windows. Let me show you how to resolve this problem. So I'm going to show you the different steps what you can do to uh, to resolve this problem because I've actually experienced this a lot at my working place. So what I do is when I resolve a problem at my working place, so I try to actually do a video about it. Maybe that video can help someone solve it problem as well so the first thing you want to do is you want to do actually run a disk cleanup so when you run this cleanup it will try to clean up your disk for example clean up files maybe there's a temporary files that has been downloaded on your on your on your, on your windows that's actually causing your windows to crash so it will actually clean up all your temporary files your old files your um your recycle bin and all so let me just enter disk cleanup and click on this cleanup so it will try to search if we have any files that need to be deleted. So I just did a disk cleanup not too long ago on this device. So we can select the recycle bin, for example. We can say, okay, we want to delete every other files. You can check if you have some other files which can be deleted. But we can as well just click on the cleanup system files. So this is not going to actually, this is not going to take much longer. Here you can see we don't have much files. So we can actually delete the temporary files on the recycle bin and then just click OK and then delete the files. So the second we want to actually do is to go to, let me just right click on my start menu. And here I'm going to go to device manager. So sometimes when you install um, um, a new software or device or maybe probably um, there's, a, there's an update on your, on your device and it causes a specific driver to actually the uninstall its, um, its, its updates driver and this may actually cause your device to be crashing all the time so if for example I, ha I have some here you can see on my hardware here for example the monitor keyboard so you may actually want to check to see if any of this hardware here is actually kind of showing you a yellow mark that says that you need to actually update its driver so at this moment you can see everything seems to be good so I don't have any error message that any driver needs to be updated and thirdly, what we need to actually do again is I'm going to go to my search menu and then enter the command prompt. I'm going to start the command prompt as an administrator and then select yes on a user's con account control. So here I'm going to actually do an SFC scan now and then we're going to do enter. So let me just hit enter. So this is going to actually scan your device. So first of all, you want to say, what is SFC? The SFC is called a system file checker. So if, for example, your Windows is not working very well, you are getting a blue screen, you can actually use the SFC, that is a system file checker, to actually check your device. You can see it says there's a system repair pending which requires reboot to complete. So restart Windows and run FS SFC again. So which means there's a um, so which means that my device actually requires a reboot to um, to complete a repair pending, which means that without without that I cannot run the SFC. So it says restart Windows and run the SFC again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my Windows and then and uh, run the SFC again. So let me just try to see because I can see that I have a pending restart on this device. So if I click my notification of Windows update and let me just try and see. And here you can see it's a cumulative update of Windows was installed. It's a pending restart. So let me restart my device and then I'll run the SFC again. I'm going to pause this video and come back again when I've actually fully logged on to my device. So I have restarted my device. So let me just go to the um, search menu again and then look for the command CMD. And then open the command prompt as an administrator. As an administrator. So yes. And here we're going to actually enter the SFC and then scan now again. So it says now the process will take some 
time so what i'm going to do is so now this is actually it's trying to scan my system so let me just pause this video and I'll come back again when the scan process has been fully completed here you can see that my device has been scanned by the sfc and it did not find any corrupted file on this device so it says window resources protection did not find any integrity violation so what we need to do right now is to use the next tool which is called the dsim as the dism online cleanup to check if there's any corrupt corrupted file on this device and it's going to repair it for us so the first i will go i have copied the file here to the test to this notepad so let me just do the this sim online cleanup image check so and so it's going to check my system here to see how healthy is my system and then okay we didn't find anything so let's do let's scan my system again as well I think I made a mistake there on the, the DSM. So it says uh, no component store corruption detected. And then let me go back again to the DCM chest scan. Same check health. Uh, let me see. Okay, the DCM check health did not found anything. Okay. And then we're going to let me just do the scan health again. I think it's trying to scan my device to see if there are any corrupted file. So right now you can see that my device is being scanned. So it's going to take about, go to about 100%. So right now it's about 20%. So I'm going to pause this video and come back again when it has fully been scanned. Here you can see that the scan health is now about 100% and it says no component store corrupted, corruption detected the operation completed successfully. So everything seems to be fine. But I would still actually want to just run the, run this restore health to actually show you. Let me just run this to show you that if there is actually any corrupted file, it's going to actually restore our device so after this has completed about 100 percent we're still going to going to do some other checkup to actually resolve our blue screen of that so now you see it says the restore health has um, completed successfully with about 100 percent and the restore operation completed successfully so what the restore health actually does is it's try it tries to scan for your system the, the scan a system and try to restore any corrupted file it's detected but here you can see it says there are no corrupted file that's part of the fact that we are seeing the restore operation completed successfully but no uh, corrupted file no files we are restored that was already corrupted so now what we need to do let me just clear the screen by entering cls so what we need to do right now is to actually check the disk for any corrupted file and try to repair it so we're going to enter the following that is chk ds i just check disk slash arrow so we're going to check the disk so it says check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process we would like to tell this volume to be the to be checked the next time the system restarts so we're just going to enter yes and then hit enter so it said the volume will be checked the next time the system restarts so let me try to restart the system right now and complete this um trying to fix the bill the bsod that's the blue screen of death so let me just do shut down let me show you a different way to restart your device and I'm going to do arrow, that's the restart. If you do S, that shut down, your device will not be restarted. So I'm going to do arrow, that shut down. So when do I want to shut down that, the, the device? So let me just put T, that's the time. So by entering zero means I want to shut it now. If I enter 60, which means 60 seconds, one minute from now. So I'm going to enter zero and my device will be restarted immediately. So let's try and restart our device and try to see if this um, problem is being fixed so i'm going to restart anyway and just try to see if the check this is going to just check my device and try to restore but mind you if it did not found any corrupted file so the restore the check this will not take that much. so it says to skip this checking press any key within four seconds so i don't want to skip this uh, the, the disk checking so now you can see that i started my um fixing it's a stage 1.4 percent so this is going to take some time as well so i'm just going to leave i'm just going to pause this video and come back again when everything has been completed but mind you it may goes very fast if of course it, would, it did not found any uh, kind of corrupted file on this device 
so my check this actually completed without finding any issue on my device so let me just log on again to my device so if you try if you're having a blue screen of death or your device is starting always crashing with a blue screen and you tried one of these fakes i just showed you or the different fakes i think the chances that your device is going to repair is about 95 to 98 percent because i've seen this actually on my workplace on several machines and i'm trying to fix these issues with all the, one of these fakes i just showed you actually fix this problem Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson and please, if this video helped you, don't forget to leave a comment below by telling others that the video helped you and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. If you have any questions, you can always send me a personal email. I'm going to leave my email below in this video and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye.